Alors que le conflit entre Kiev et Moscou fait toujours rage, une autre bataille a déjà commencé à l'arrière du front, celle pour la reconstruction de l'Ukraine. Lors de la conférence organisée sur ce sujet par le G7 et l'Union européenne, Yann Goldin a été entendu en tant qu'expert et il estime que la communauté internationale pourrait être plus rapide. Well, conflict and war is development in reverse. It destroys everything. It destroys institutions, it destroys people's lives and their mental state uh, and their physical states, of course. All of that will take time to rebuild. The most important thing is it has to be done by the Ukrainians. And that, I think, is, is happening in a way that could be done more rapidly with more international support. But it is certainly happening. The Russians thought they'd destroyed the energy system. But it's been rebuilt and is operating pretty effectively uh, in Ukraine. So that's a very good example. Many bridges were destroyed that had been rebuilt and people can cross over them again. And of course, the military need to cross over them. Après Paris en décembre 2022 et Rome la semaine dernière, c'est à Londres qu'aura lieu une autre conférence des donateurs en juin prochain. The numbers are very big. We're already talking about about 400 billion euros. Uh, in reconstruction costs, and actually I feel that the costs are going to be even bigger. But the, it's a small number in relationship to what the international institutions can mobilize. We have to remember that the rich countries found over $20 trillion in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Qui paiera la facture C'est l'une des questions qui reste à trancher entre les différents gouvernements concernés et les institutions internationales.